Hey y'all, I'm Chris Funk, I'm doing one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, which is down here paddling the Okefenokee Swamp. One of the number one things that I get asked anytime I come to do this is, man, aren't you afraid to paddle with the gators? Uh, I want to share with you a few tips that I've learned through the years that, that, have, that have kept me safe, uh, and especially for those of you that have a little bit of trepidation about coming here and paddling. You know, there's no reason why we can't share this beautiful place with these critters uh, and, and keep us both safe. So uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's two or three right here, two or three right here next to me. And, you know, we're fine. I've given them plenty of space. And that's the number one rule is give them space. Uh, don't crowd the gators out. I mean, that should be the same way with any critter, uh, you know, whether in Yellowstone with the bears and the bison, you know, but here with the gators, give them their space. Uh, you know, keep a keep a, a, a good distance between you. Now, a lot of them are going to be in the water when you're paddling, and you know if they're easing across in front of you and they go under, generally speaking, go around the direction they were coming from. Because if that gator goes under, he's going to be keeping going the same direction that he was going in. If they go down in that one spot and not moving, just sink down, paddle way around that one because most likely that gator's sitting right there. During mating season in the spring, the bulls are out looking for love. You'll hear them bellowing. Uh, when they start bellowing, that's you know territorial as well. So when the other ones start bellowing around them, they're ready to fight. And and you do not need to be where a bull is, is bellowing. That's another. That's a good time to just say, hey, this is not a, a good place to fish or photograph. Let me move on. Make sure you give them plenty of room. All right, during mating season, you know, after mating season, the mamas are gonna be on the nest. Nests are just mounds of vegetation, dying, rotten vegetation. That's what causes the heat for the eggs. She is going to be protecting that nest. You may not see her on that nest, but you better believe she is not far from it. Do not go in that area. A lot of times she'll be casing back and forth in front of it. Don't go over there. That's a real good time to get yourself hurt. So. Look at it from a distance, give her her room, and then go on and find you a new place to fish or paddle. If you see a baby gator, stay away from them. Yes, they are cute. Yes, they look like you could pick them up and snuggle with them. But yes, they can take off your fingers, your hands, or your arms. Not only that, mama is not far away. If you mess with the baby gator, trust me, she sees, she knows, and she will wreck you. So stay away from baby gators. Take pictures from a distance and enjoy them from a distance. One of my favorite things to do in the swamp is to fish. I love to come down here and catch the bowfin. I love to catch the jacks, the chain pickerel that, that they have in the swamp. But one thing you need to realize is that, especially in warmer months, if you hook a fish and he's splashing on the surface, that's a dinner belt to an alligator. Now, that gator is gonna be coming. And if you, if you can see down the side of the bank, every time you hook a fish, there'll be gators poking their heads out of the weeds trying to see where that sound's coming from. Just play the fish quickly, if at all possible. Get them into your vessel very, very fast. Do not allow a gator to take a fish from you. That trains them, and they've learned down here that if you hook a fish, that, that it's an easy meal. So always have your head on a swivel when you're fighting a fish. Keeping an eye out for where that gator may be. Net them quickly if possible. Get them in, get them unhooked, and get them out or get them on ice. Don't have them hanging off the side of the boat on a stringer. That's like trolling for gators. That's a bad idea. Another really good tip is with your animals. Now, I've got little dogs. I love my little dogs. But they are not allowed here in the swamp. You know, as much as folks would enjoy paddling with their pets or even their service animals, guys, a dog is a delicacy to an alligator. You do not want to put your animal or yourself through that. Uh, any dog that's down here barking, remember what I talked about with the fish splashing, that's a dinner bell. A barking dog is a dinner bell to a gator. So as much as we love our critters, don't bring them out here on the water. Remember when you're paddling here, this is their home. We're visiting. So try your best to be a decent steward. Do not feed gators. If you see one that's paying way too much attention to man, most likely somebody's messed up and fed them. Guys, that is the worst thing you can do for a gator because number one, it acclimates them to us and it means they're going to have to be removed and destroyed from this area. So two, it also creates the danger of the next person coming along. They recognize them as a food source 
and when they don't feed them, we've all seen the stories of what happens when gators get too close to man. So let the gators stay scared of us. We'll stay scared of them. Remember that this is their house. Treat it like that. Give them space. Don't feed them. Watch out during mating season. Watch out during nesting season. And watch out when you're fishing. And you should be able to enjoy yourself here just like I have. I've been coming here for the past eight years, I believe, several times a year if at all possible. And I love this place. And I want to share it with you. I want to share it with everybody. But I want you safe while you're down here. So y'all take care.